and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. Just finished the book, the book Rexus. Okay, that's a, this is a, what is it called? A side quest? A side story to the main book, uh, the, it is the Ritualist Chronicles. Yeah, and it's a side quest. This is based off one of his crew members named Jack, and Jack? Jackson. And apparently he, elderly man, was a chiropractor, uh, lost his practice because he was so devoted to his, pra his practice, I guess. Um, yeah, and he lacks uh, charisma skills, so he's below average in charisma, which means he just seems intimidating or uh, lost. So it's fun following a character like this who just doesn't entirely understand what's going on and he's joyous about the things that are not right with the system. Everything that reminds him it's a video game, it's just, it's just a fun character to have when you have something like that. So this, char this side quest is basically based around him and his journey when, as the, the king gets resurrected, all that, that happens afterwards. He just, about him finding weapons for himself, about his, because when you have a character that's like this, you always are curious about him. And I think this is why they wrote the side quest for him because he just seems so creepy. And it's fun to have creepy characters. I mean, look like, look at the, Sherlock Holmes or Dexter Morgan or like the uh, house, Gregory House. I mean, the list goes on and on with characters who just are smart, but uh, socially awkward, socially inept because they just don't have the, the capacity to talk with people. This one, it's funny because he just programmed that he can't. He just lacks it. Not, that's one thing that is nice about this this world, but at the same time, I don't like it because how can a system dictate someone's own characteristic basis? I can understand how it can improve upon it, but if the thing is, like one thing they keep talking about in this series about how as long as you can prove something, they'll give it to you. He obviously has improved. He has high intelligence and is a nice person, yet they haven't given him the charisma skill to match. So it's, it's one of those things that is just there for the joke factor. And as a side quest, it's shorter. This basically feels like what he had in mind when he did the first book. It's one story, which just has two stories put together. So if literally there was a second book and he just pasted it together, just like, oh, it's the same character. Let's put it together. That just happens right after, after he's, yeah. So it's just like, it, it, this seems like more his style, at least the style of the first book. And the fact that he did it after he did the second book, it's like, okay, so he he really does know his work, which I honestly know because of his original series. The Rexus, though, I enjoy just because of the character Jackson. I really do think they could have added more to it because it seems like one of the things where they're going through a dungeon to complete it all. What are the odds that no one else had done it in that assassin group? What, what, just like, that seems after months of playing, after high, incredibly high level assassins going through the dungeon and not wanting to complete it, just like, okay, that seems a little shady, but it's just like, okay, whatever. Yeah, give it to them, let it, let them have what they want. But yeah, I, I did enjoy it. It didn't seem to really serve a purpose except to introduce that Jackson has living weapons. That's it, because th that's what's funny because I actually started um, uh, Rays and I got to the point where Jackson shows up and he has living weapons. And I was like, okay, um, I know there's a side quest. Let me stop it here and go do the side quest. Let me, let me read that first and then go back here because it just felt off. It didn't feel to, I guess it did flow naturally, but it would have flowed much more naturally if he would have introduced the fact that, oh, we went on a journey, which kind of, I guess, happened, but didn't because Jackson lacks the charisma base, but there Jess could have done it just like, but yeah, they introduced Jess, another character whose goal, who, who just seems shady, seems to be assassin, hides, hides her characteristic stats from everybody. I don't know. I don't know. It's not really necessary as a book to follow along, but he does it again. And I'll get into that one when I get into it. I'm reading it now, but <laughs> Biblomancer, that's the one I'm reading now, another side quest. And I'm like, I don't care for it. I don't care for it. 
it was a standalone, I'd be fine, but no. You can't, you can't create a villain, but I'll get to that point later on. Yeah, Rexus is not really necessary to the story. Um, it's a fun little side quest, especially if you like the character Jackson. Honestly, Jackson, I would prefer if he was the main focus because he's just a fun character. And just imagine an old timer who chose to go into a video game, get the, the child, his childhood, get his youth back, and using all his knowledge, just lacking the charisma of his older self. And it's, it's a lot more enjoyable book when you look at it that way. Uh, thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.